Welcome to Monday Morning Zombie Hack, episode 703 of The Walking Dead, The Cell. I am your reviewer, I guess, Dylan Lang, here just to talk briefly about this episode that aired last night, uh, November 6th, 2016. Um, some highlights. Uh, first of all, spoiler warning, we will be getting into spoilers. Nobody died, though, so, well, nobody important died. First and foremost, but uh, we learn a little bit of what's going on with Daryl. America learns a brand new song to despise and hate forever. And even some people even thought they were thought it was kind of cool. And we get a little bit more look into Dwight and the Saviors. So, without further ado, here we go. The episode starts with uh, a montage uh, to a peppy song. Uh, and it focuses on Dwight as he's going about his day in the Savior compound, you know, you know doing jobs, uh, you know, finding people who are skimming or stealing stuff and venting out justice, making sandwiches, kneeling to Negan, all to a peppy, poppy, uh, hippie uh, song. Not the song that everybody hated. It was a totally different song, uh, but it was just a skip to my Lou type of song and all around and then the final shot of the montage is um, Dwight making a sandwich with dog food and then the next shot is uh, it opens the door open a door opens up and there's naked dirty Daryl in a jail cell and the sandwich is thrown to him and he's eaten and the door closes so obviously uh, Daryl is a prisoner of war uh, this episode was written by Angela Kang and um, it's not one of the better ones um, of the season, but it's an important one to have that uh, details the what the saviors are up to and gives us a little more insight into Dwight and what's going on with Daryl. So after that, um, we start hearing another peppy, poppy song. This one is a song called Easy Street. I forget who does who sings it. They mentioned it on Talking Dead, and I'm sure um, you can find it online somewhere. But um, we hear it's playing extraordinarily loud, and we focus on Daryl in a jail cell, and then it stops, and the door opens, and uh, Dwight throws him food again, uh, and then closes the door again, and then walks away, and then the music starts up again. And then we keep a bunch of these things back and forth. Eventually, um, uh, Dwight throws him a blanket to curl up in uh, to keep warm, and also eventually gets him to wear uh, a raggedy clothes with the letter A on it and uh, he goes to the doctor and uh, gets checked out uh, by uh, the doctor uh, his bullet wound that Dwight gave him um, and we also see um, what's her name Tracy uh, the woman from last uh, season who was with uh, Dwight when they first encountered Daryl uh, turns out that it was his wife, Dwight's wife, and she now is Negan's wife. And there's a pregnancy test uh, in the doctor's office when she's leaving, and uh, she's not pregnant. So obviously things are still uh, a little awkward with that. We find out a little bit more about that history in a little bit. And so basically then Dwight, you know, Negan talks to him a little bit, Dwight shows him around the savior compound and we're just basically learning what's going on to Daryl there he's basically a prisoner of war they're trying to break him by using the music as torture and not um, you know, feed feeding him dog food Though I didn't see any water getting passed to him um, during this time so I don't know if they if he does have any water uh, that's probably one thing you probably want to give your uh, you know, prisoners uh, and keep them alive because we learned that basically they're trying to break Daryl like they broke Rick but they're doing it a different way because he's tougher so they're doing the music torture where they play the music constantly probably all hours of the day and don't really give Daryl any protection you know they, they have him in this uh, potato sack outfit now but for a while there he was naked and dirty but we find we learned from Negan that he is trying to break Dwight not Dwight Daryl <clears throat> but it's been real tough, but Dwight's doing a, he, he gives Dwight a compliment. 
Eventually, Dwight uh, gets sent out on a mission uh, to retrieve lost, uh, uh, stolen items from Negan's group, and Dwight knows what he has to do, so he's going to go find uh, the person who stole stuff. Meanwhile, um, someone else feeds Daryl and leaves his cell door unlocked, and Daryl creeps out and um, gets encountered this woman. I, I, just, I hate that. I, should, I should take better notes, you know. Uh, the Dwight's wife... Now Negan's wife uh, encounters them and tells him, you know, don't do it. Go back to your cell. They're going to do a lot worse to you if you get caught, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, Gerald doesn't believe it. So he sneaks through the compound, <clears throat> eventually makes his way to uh, a bunch of motorcycles, thinks he can go grab one. So he goes and tries to find one, but he can't. But as soon as uh, he starts looking at the motorcycles, all the doors open as if they were expecting it, and all of Negan's goons come out, and Negan shows up with Lucille the Bat and says his famous, ah, someone pissing his, piss, pissing his pants now, so it looks like you now Daryl tried to escape, he broke the law, so Daryl's going to get ready to get his head bashed in. So Negan is talking to Daryl, trying to um, get him to break, meaning, you know, you're no longer a person, so you're not Daryl, you're Negan, you know, so keep doing it. And then um, after he refuses again because he can't break Daryl, it looks like Negan's going to bash his head in, but he stops just short and says, you know, you're a fighter, I like that, but you got to pay the consequences. So he walks away and the, the thugs beat the crap out of Daryl. So for some reason, Negan is, has, takes a liking to Daryl and is trying to groom him or train him to something, he needs to break him first. And I guess maybe the point is, He's trying to break one of Rick's right-hand men so that if they ever go back to Alexandria and uh, Rick sees Daryl, Daryl will not want to go back to Rick. He wants to stay with Negan, and that will be another nail in Rick's coffin. So I think that's what he's probably doing there. Meanwhile, Dwight encounters uh, Gordon, who is someone who was at the compound also. Um, after being, um, uh, Dwight gets uh, uh, involved in a battle with some shredded zombies and looks like he gets injured i don't think he gets i don't think he's bitten but he got injured and uh, eventually he comes upon gordon and is you know threatening to kill him uh unless he comes back to the compound with him and gordon at this point is like you know you know how it is you know you used to be like us and then you know it, everything changed blah 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 you know you can do what everyone i wish you would kill me it would make things better and so dwight has to pull out well you know i could kill you but then what I would do is all the people that you liked, I would put them up against the, the fence and have them get eaten and, and brutally um, you know, eaten to death by the zombies and turned into zombies. And then I'd dig up your, your wife, Gordon, and have the zombies eat her dead corpse. So, you know, it's your choice. And that breaks Gordon enough that, you know, he decides to go back with Dwight to the compound. But Dwight, um, it looks like that, Dwight's going to take pity on him and maybe kill him, put him out of his misery, so he shoots him. But then we learn later at the end of the episode that he actually just shot him in the back, and now Gordon's a zombie out in the zombie yard. I'm still not exactly sure why they have the zombie yard, unless it's a punishment for, for Negan, I suppose. Um, and then, basically, um, again, uh, Negan... Uh, and now Dwight starts feeling a little bit sorry for, for Daryl, and he gives um, Daryl the picture of Glenn's smashed head was taken. So, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, for you, your friend would still be alive. And then if it wasn't for me leaving, I'd still be married. So he's starting to feel a little bit of regret for things, and he still feels bad about stuff. But he also knows that, you know, Negan's got us all by the balls, and there's not much we can do about it except abide by him. And to show his not gratitude, but maybe his changing state of mind, Dwight changes the torture song to a totally different song. That's uh, the song Crying, Crying, something like that. It was an old 60s bebop song that people have heard about that's a lot better than the um, Easy Street song, and it's a completely different song. So I think it, it's, it gives Daryl a chance to have a cathartic cry with the picture of Glenn's bashed head, knowing that he's the one that caused that the death of Glenn, so I don't think I really missed any of the major points. I mean, not a lot happened in this episode. It was really more along the lines of um, another episode without the main group, but 
it's a needed episode. I know a lot of people didn't like the episode. Uh, a lot of it because of the E Street song, which they played multiple times. But that's just trying to get you into the mindset of what Daryl's doing with this torture that he's got to endure, and the and Negan continuing to try to break him. Um, so it wasn't, as I said, one of the better episodes of the season. Maybe not one of the better episodes of the show, but it was a much needed exposition show. We needed uh, to get to learn a little bit more about the White because he's going to play a big role. Uh, in the future of the show, uh, and you need to see why uh, he does what he does, and this is the beginning of why he does what he does. Um, this also is probably going to set up, hopefully, um, the Carl Negan encounter, which is in the comics, which I'm really, really hoping they show, because next week's episode is a 90-minute episode, which is going to focus on Negan coming to Alexandria. We're probably going to get some hilltop action in there as well. We'll also probably get a little bit of Terra action. It looks like we're going to see some Terra uh, we haven't seen for at least six episodes now. So at least looks like we're going to get a little idea of what's been going on with her. And um, Negan uh, in, is being introduced to the Alexandria people and Rick's broken self and how they're mourning the loss of their friends and stuff like that. So that will lead credence to, this is a spoiler from the comics, which might be in the episode next week, Carl sneaking onto the transport trucks that Negan and his crew bring to take the supplies from Alexandria. And then, um, you know, when he gets Negan's compound, he breaks out and kills a few of Negan's people, but then he gets subdued because he's Carl, and Negan takes a shine to him, but you know, needs to have punishment, but before he's going to punish him, they're going to give him another tour of the, the Savior's compound and talk to him and have a discussion. We probably won't have to have another compound um, look through, but we'll, we'll get a little bit of an idea of some of the stuff that's going on. We'll probably see what the ironing thing, that's, which is what happened to Dwight. We'll probably see that actually in, in full glory color in a couple episodes probably. I wouldn't say next week's episode, but maybe in two weeks' time. <clears throat> so that would be because he'll probably want to try to save Daryl probably is what the situation is. So as I said, we'll see what happens. We needed this episode just to find out what's going on with Daryl, that he's trying to be broken down by Negan to become one of Negan's men, which would be another nail into Rick's coffin and also uh, an idea of what the saviors have been up to and what their, what their plots are, and also give you an idea of what's going on with the white because we're going to need that motivation down the line when he does what he does. So on that note, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. It was, a, as I said, okay episode, not a great one, but it was a much-needed episode, and next week's 90-minute one looks like it's going to be crazy and should be um, a lot more interesting. We're finally going to see what's going on with our regular crew. So enjoy, watch it. Uh, take care, have fun, have a good one. Vote.